In week two of the Code Breaking Club, we, we looked at the date shift cipher. Now, last week we saw the Caesar cipher and we heard about the problems with it, that it's very prone to attack. Basically, you can only have 26 different Caesar shifts and one of them is a Caesar shift of naught, which essentially is nothing. So it's very easy. You just try all 25 and eventually you'll get to the one that works. So we need something a little bit more sophisticated. Now, the date shift cipher works on uh, having a lot of different Caesar shifts in one. First we need to agree on a special date. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to use Isaac Newton's birthday, which of course is the 25th of December. Now I won't bother about the year, I'll just use 2512. Now what we're going to do is the first letter in our code is going to be moved by a shift of 2. Then the second letter will move with a shift of 5, then the third letter will move 1, the fourth letter will move 2, and then we'll loop back. 2, 5, 1, 2, 2, 5, 1, 2. So, for example, if we want to encode our, our date shift, I'll write out date shift with no gaps like this. Now the first letter, D, I'm going to move by 2. Uh, so I line up here, A becomes C, etc. D, we see, becomes F. The next letter, I'm going to move by uh, 5, so that's the next, the next amount on there, so if I shift this across so that A lines up with E. Uh, sorry, A lines up with F, that's more better. So A is F. Hopefully I'm doing this right. The next one uh, has a shift of just 1, so if I move this along... A shift of 1 is there. So T becomes U here. T becomes U. Then a shift of 2. Uh, the last one in the list. A shift of 2 is like that. And E becomes G. And then we go back to the beginning again with a shift of 2 for the next letter S. Our shift of 2 is already there, so S becomes U. And we continue until we get to the end. And there you see our final encoded message, FFUGUMJHV, uh, which I can uh, leave as it is or group in 3s or 2s or well, however I'd normally do it. Now, the way to decode that, of course, is the same as we encoded it, only the opposite, and we'd need to all agree on which birthday, so we'd need to know Isaac Newton's birthday was an important date. And now a new regular feature, uh, Yarnell's Code Challenge. Um, I've encoded a message, um, and this is what I've ended up with. J-E-R-M-V-S-C-A-C-G-K And today's date is the 24th of September. See if you can crack it. Answers next week.